Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. TFG Football is an IBM production and you can also check out their other awesome shows like Geek Fruit with fellow and television geek stages Jishnu and Dinkar as they discuss the world of science fiction and nerd culture. You're listening to TFG Football. Hello and welcome everyone. This is the new episode of the TFG New Football Podcast and I have Kevin in the studio. Sirindhi joining us by a phone call. So we heard yesterday that Delhi Dynamos uh, have done a tie-up with the Doha-based academy by the name Aspire Academy. Now this is to enhance their team potential and we also hear that uh, they would be sending their coaches and scouts to Delhi to you know help the management there. Kevin, a good move? Yeah. Foreign tie-up is always good and uh, we this is not something uh, new for ISL teams. Uh, we've seen uh, the tie-ups with uh, uh, Zico that he brought along with for, for FC Goa. Uh, they they were able to conduct their pre-season matches in Brazil and uh, that really helps, you know. Uh, they really get hardly any time to get accustomed to uh, with the players and the coaches. So these tie-ups actually help in the long run for uh, th- the clubs. You know, if you are not able to get in players or coaches or even uh, some technical help that is required from the back end, so this comes in handy when when uh, whenever you start to uh, build up a squad or something. Hmm. Now it also says, as I'm reading the report, it also says that uh, they're happy to announce that eligible youth will be allowed to take part in the Aspire residential program, like which gives. So I think it's it's a good exposure for the ones. Now Delhi also had the Dynamo's team also have a soccer school, uh, so I think it would be a great one for even for the upcoming one, not just the existing players that they would have uh, in the team, but also for the youth. Now, Chiranjit, the other quick thoughts on this. Uh, about Delhi Dynamos. Yes. Uh, well, I <laughs> I love a very uh, uh, pessimistic take. Uh, although I love uh, when uh, Indian teams uh, go out and make uh, these uh, you know uh, arrangements with foreign clubs and all that stuff. But for once, I want to see uh, ISL teams uh, just step up and do everything by themselves. You know. I mean, I, I don't like it when uh, Atletico de Kolkata gets their foreigners uh, arranged for them and their coach arranged for them by Atletico de Madrid. Mm. You know, I want to see them become a full club with uh, capabilities of doing everything on their own. Mm. They, then, then they try to make a 19 team for IFA Shield and they fail. So, it, it's this kind of dependency is a uh, roadblock, I think, towards them becoming uh, proper clubs. Uh, that operate full season and do their, uh, do their bit. But, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, getting talent uh, exposure for, uh, you know, for further development, these kind of tie-ups are really good. But that's what it should be about. You know, Daily Ranawa should be more uh, independent and self-sufficient when it comes to actually scouting and uh, building their own squad. Hmm, yeah. So uh, it, I, it it should not be like like Atletico de Madrid, Atletico de Kolkata, like hmm. the foreign uh, club with its facilities is actually just helping prop this team up hmm. because otherwise they cannot stand on their own. I think it's not uh, more of an exchange of uh, players or just uh, uh, this is just a tie up uh, to get the. No, the technical uh, mm. things from that side. Yeah. Uh, they also mentioned some analyst uh, that would be coming along. You know, that really helps uh, uh, using the data to uh, to get a squad yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, if the ATK partnership is more like a you know a sister body where you send in uh, the the entire lot of you know big bunch of coaches, mm. uh, uh, Spain, the technical yeah. assistants and uh, co- players. So this is more like uh, how uh, Minerva had a tie up with. Uh, uh, you know, one of the uh, foreign clubs, and then uh, just recently we seen uh, Chennai City also tie- tying up uh, this mm. club called Hercules. Mm. So Chennai think, uh, City and Hercules are more about uh, grassroots development and uh, conducting, uh, you know, that kind of operation. It's it's not that deep going into the first team, but mm. Delhi kind of. I think just like in nothing but the first team right mm, now. But then, uh, yeah, so that's like they are saying that they have uh, soccer schools and stuff like that. So it's also going to be helping the ones, the kids who are going to be enrolled there. Uh, so I think two mm. fair points here. So we have to wait and see how that pans out. 
moving on now we have a uh, india under 23 team that will be in us if an exposure tour as a preparation for afc mm. qualifiers now the squad looks really interesting because we know a lot of players that are familiar uh, to us because they play in i league in isl and some for the national team as well uh the other good news that what stephen constantine said yesterday was you know you never know that one player you might just see a player uh, playing in usa as well uh for clubs yeah. there so i think this exposure is really good for these uh, players here and uh, they get to develop they'll see more they will play more so hopefully that will help them in their afc qualifiers kevin your thoughts i think we've seen a lot of exposure tour been uh, been integrated uh, in mm. uh, many of the indian teams we seen uh, the the exposure tour that the under 17 team is going through mm. uh, they play a lot of uh, matches in europe and i think they they're still there mm. so this is you know part of uh, the practice session and uh, we heard uh, norton say that you know the results are not what we are looking for it's it's the bonding it's uh, how how the players interact with each other how they able to take pressure because we are playing against very difficult opponents and that's that's going to be there in mm. the world cup as well so for afc under 23 you know it's the immediate next team for for the the senior team you know it's very much potential yeah. to just push players who shine very brightly in this tournament and uh, the exposure to it's easy pickings for for constantine here mm. you know uh, that's very important you know, for constantine itself because he's in charge of both teams mm, the senior yeah. and the under 23 and he also mentioned that uh, there's no difference between uh, the practice sessions of uh, this the young side and the senior national team mm, mm. so you you see that the the stepping up is there you know you you impress the coach mm. you might even get selected for the national, national team, team yeah uh so then how do you see it as you know like just like Kevin mentioned now it's a good point Stephen Constantine coaching both the teams so he doesn't have to start from scratch with the under 23 squad because most of them he's familiar with and just like we said we've seen them play and some even played for the senior team so how do you see that partnership relationship going so, well uh, ever since he has joined uh, he explicitly said that what he wants to do is to make the new generation of indian national team yeah. so that's what he has been doing by uh, you know giving so many young players a chance to play for the national team uh, at different levels different tournaments and uh, he's uh, also taking care of the under 22 i think they are under 22 now they will be under 23 next year hmm. that side taking care of that side is also you know it's for the same reason to groom those players to be there for the national team and uh, you know uh, not long ago i think last year uh, constantine was planning an exposure tour in the usa yeah. for the indian national team yeah. seniors it got cancelled right, right? And, uh, yeah yeah and that did not happen because it was clashing with ice in three season they yeah. got it cancelled so finally he's getting some chance uh, it's it's happening in the middle uh, of uh, summer so no pre season of any kind is going on so the players will be free to you know just concentrate on this and nothing else uh, they they uh, you know trying to emulate the uh, conditions of qatar i think they're going to california so they will be playing a few matches uh, club sides there and uh, uh, something that uh, you know uh, about about for players going abroad and playing in clubs over there mm. uh, constant and as has been mentioning the lower divisions of uh, us football uh, yeah. like not mls but uh, usl uh, nasl psl these uh, these clubs they're not that bad in terms of infrastructure you know mm. you you get to uh, practice with uh, uh, with some real coaches who are technically sound and uh, Uh, you know physically stronger uh, uh, teammates and opponents yeah. which is good for indian players at any point so he has been uh, advocating that for a long time uh, and uh, he wanted that exposure tour from last year to be a place where some of the indian senior national team players mm. get uh, spotted and scouted for by these clubs mm. and that did not happen so now they are uh, going to try it with under 23 players who may also get spotted uh, in, in the same way when they play against uh, those club squads mm. so it's good for uh, the players it's good for uh, the national uh, team to get uh, prepared before the uh, under 23 uh, championship and it's it's good for uh, you know just finding proper players who can uh, survive uh, and this, this is, these are the real uh, tests for a player right mm. uh, this right. is where you found the 
find the you know the the horses that will run the longest mm. because they are out of their comfort zone they are in a different country they're facing players with styles that are not similar to the players you face in india so you want to see who can adapt to the conditions who can adapt to the different uh, you know level of playing and the playing styles uh, and uh, you just see the best of their abilities right in your front when you mm. do things like this and and they should do this often yeah. with all all sorts of and all age level teams mm. i and i also feel it's very beneficial for players you know uh, uh, with yeah. the new season not being uh, you know structured as yet so it really gives the players a chance to showcase themselves and be you know up for grabs right. for play, for the clubs mm. you know it's a very good chance because uh, the same set of players that just uh, played for the national side on a friendly game and a qualifier game again go on exposure tour followed by the qualifiers it's a lot of game time you know it just shows everybody what what are capable of it just has all eyes on on these guys mm. yeah now uh just like you mentioned you know how it's it's good they're getting game time they might also get you never know a scout might be looking out for them and they might just get a deal then just like constantine saying now as i mentioned i just started the show saying that you know when we started this topic i said that we have seen a fam- all or a hell of familiar faces like in this squad now asking you a question that who are you like more keen to see you know to feature up there and go up the ranks and just you know to see and then eventually see them in the nam senior team I think the ones who have been called up uh, regularly for the national camp but not got selected mm. uh, I would like them to be in the spotlight yeah mm. because uh, yes you do get a lot of experience just to be part of the national camp but if you're not you know shortlisted happy for Jerry mm. that he was uh, selected and he did debut on uh, in, in the national side also but uh, we really require younger players to you know be there and be able to pick themselves for the national squad. Hmm. So Rajit, how excited are you to see all these faces like you know Vishal Kath, Nishu Kumar, Trulova, Chinglin Singh Sana. I mean we've been talking about them yeah. since like you know I league has been going on and how how do you look at them playing now in the under 23? Well, well uh, the younger players uh, who are eligible for under 23 camp should always be given a priority some and sometimes uh, you know because it's not a, a fifa national team kind mm. of thing that affects mm. your rankings mm. clubs get a bit more leeway saying uh, hey uh, why should he go out and play uh, an under 23 match when uh, he's playing na- a senior club level football here this is better for him you know higher level of football so that is one thing what sometimes you have to make a call for a cause like the under 23 championship that will happen that that's a that's a major uh, stepping stone to develop the next uh, generation of indian footballers right, mm, right. and uh, you and and what you need uh, from the players who will go there is for them to get into that tournament mode okay it, it's mm. one thing to play a league uh in in uh, which is uh, all over all over the season uh, you play on the weekends you train you get uh, a lot of time to train for opponents uh, and you are you know there's a home you know something you consider a home ground and you're based out of it hmm. there's familiarity with it yeah when you go to a tournament you're going into a completely different country you are uh, you know adjusting to the jet lag you're playing practice matches then you're play, playing this country that country it, it's it's a very different intense experience hmm. Hmm. okay it it starts and it's over in a few weeks uh, you go to like group stage knockout the pressure changes Yeah. right and uh, and you need players to have that experience yeah. okay you need players to go through uh, you know a, a place where they get less recovery time and they have to think about some very diverse opponents hmm. like you you're playing spain today and you're playing uh, uh, you know some japan tomorrow hmm. those will be like sea change between the opponents and you right. have to think about them and uh, prepare for them almost at the same time without, without any break so that grind of a cup tournament hmm. uh, at the national level i mean for the national team at the international level it's really important Uh, for uh, these players to have so that they can prepare for the next asian cups when they're playing for the uh, you know uh, for the national team they they won't get bamboozled by it you know it, mm. they won't get caught off guard by that experience yeah. so that's why these uh, exposure tours work uh, for them 
uh, is that uh, you know you you're going to another country and you're playing different teams uh, at on on a in, in quick succession so it's similar to a cup tournament although it's it's not the same thing yeah. right but but you but the grind is similar so i think that's what uh, these guys uh, 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 that's what they these guys will, will benefit from it will make them better uh, as a player more wholesome mm. and uh, able to take more pressure so even the clubs should understand this uh, and i'm pretty sure uh, ai yeah, so will find a way to uh, make the clubs release their players for the Uh, mm. under 23 championship when it yeah. happens right now there is no issue mm. right now the clubs are not active so it it won't uh, really have much of a trouble i think the uh, the uh, the point that really i loved about chiranjit what he just made is about uh, putting them into uh, situations where they have to you know bring out the best mm. and the friendly matches are a v- very good way but what would be even better is to put them into tournament mode Hmm. where competitiveness is there yep. you know right now it's a friendly game there's nothing to lose but yes uh, they do understand what are their weaknesses what are their strength but when you have something to lose like a tournament uh, we seen the under 17 play the the granat granatkin cup in uh, russia hmm. you know this is something that needs to be there more competitive matches the afc is just one competitive tournament in the year but to get the best out of these kids these are this is just youth squad they need to play tournaments which are actually going to give them a feel of the real you know a, a knockout match mm-hmm. uh, they know the you know pressure the, and the pressure situation yeah. you have to put them into a situation where they can learn to come out of it right you know friendly matches are good exposure tour is very good you know just helps to enhance your practice right. but if you do not know how to handle pressure in a high high you know uh, high pressure situation it it's of no use you know you have all your practices done friendly matches you know psychologically it knows uh, it just tells you okay it's fine if i just concede a goal i it's fine if i just draw the game but knockout games and uh, league matches where you have just two or three matches to play it's it's not the right setup but all in all if you just understand that we are just coming on you know on track these things were not happening 6 7 years back Hmm. but right now it's there hmm. i think just the next level where you start playing more competitive matches apart from these exposure tours are yeah now coming to the final point uh, we'll definitely talk about them you know when when we are nearing to play but uh, constant also mentions about how the tough group that we are in uh, alongside qatar syria, syria and turkmenistan so kevin if you had to say how do you how do you see all of this the, the, that's exactly my point was you know hmm. uh, you play these teams and you try to you know simulate a similar condition for the the uh, the actual squad to play in yeah they play teams which have nothing to lose mm. we have nothing to lose and you pick them up and you put them into situations where these countries who are who are much more advanced mm. than us yeah. you know they play a lot more games the infrastructure is good their talent is there they physically better mm. we will be put into a tough very tough test hmm. siranjit your thoughts on the group so syria and uh, uh, you know qatar will be the big threat you know hmm. i don't know how uh, we rank a rank cup against uh, turkmenistan uh, especially uh, you know in that level hmm. i think i think we should not be you know hopeless or uh, yeah. we should be discouraged uh, because uh, look the national team has been doing well against uh, you know kyrgyz republic and all the others which is showing that uh, you know the the kind of uh, philosophy that has constantine uh, uh, introduced uh, in in the national team as well as the under 23 setup uh, with gps and everything it's improving the players fitness uh, they are becoming technically more sound they're getting more and more exposure so it it's not i think about uh, you know winning uh, two out of three games or whatever we're not there yet but they will put on a good show mm, they will right. put on a good performance and that will give them confidence going forward in the national senior team because Absolutely. that's what matters in the end the yeah. under 23 is just supposed to be a preparation that you go through so that you can deliver for the national team so forget about winning or losing they just need to put up a fight hmm. and that's what will give them the courage that yes we can really go toe to toe with them that's what will push them to really go for three points next hmm. well that's a great note to end on and i think uh, this squad does look like a very promising squad just like i 
I've been mentioning and repeated myself because these we know them most of them we've seen them play and they have the potential and that's why they've been called up and they're part of the national team squad uh, the under 23 squad and we will definitely see them soon in action and let's hope that they have a great tour in USA and come back you know and be all strong and fit uh, to play in their AFC Cup qualifiers so that's all folks for today hope you enjoyed the show and if you're listening to us on YouTube uh, like, share, subscribe hit the bell icon so you get updates of a new episode keep the comments coming in and you can also talk to us directly on uh, Twitter Chiranjit Oja Boza underscore Kevin Sajjan Matthew 94 you can also read about all these stories uh, especially about the anniversary squad what Stephen Constantine has to say and if you want to go to the whole squad it's up on our website thefangrash.com do follow TFG Football to the handle where you get all the updates of of Indian football. Have a great day, folks. Enjoy the weekend. Come back to us next week. Cheers. That was Tantrik Steve from Hansraj College, Delhi, performing at IIT Bombay's Mood Indigo. Just like them, there's a lot of new talent and art coming out of colleges all across India. But unfortunately, most of this goes completely unnoticed or ignored. To fix this, we started ATKT.in. Hi, I'm Ankur. I'm a musician and a rapper. And I found that one of the best things about being an artist myself is finding new talent. Through ATKT.in, Tanya, my colleague who's a dancer, and our whole team really is putting all of our efforts into discovering and promoting all the coolest talent that's coming out of colleges all across India. And this goes up on our website, our social media, TV, radio, and of course, this podcast with IVM. Make sure you go to our website, support the talent with your likes, your shares, your comments, all of that really matters. Go ahead, check it out. ATKT.in Excuse me. Bole madam. Menu mein kya hai? Menu mein scene and scene hai, podcast hai, on course hai, Cyrus hai, hai, Made in India, Rediscovery Project, Empowering Series, Sex Vex hai, IBM Likes hai, Simplified hai, Keeping It Queer hai, Dings and Destinations hai, My Neighbor Zuckerberg hai, aur The Fan Garage hai. Aapko kya chahiye hai? Uh, ek baar repeat kar denge kya? Repeat repeat nahi karta hum. Aap jao ibmpodcast.com pe aur suno ye sab. Ya fir download karo unka app. Sab aapke ungliyon pe.